How have you had to drink tonight? Not a lot. Not a lot? All right. You have a license on you? Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you have pants or something that you can put on? Well, ma'am, put pull, pull that down. All right. Okay. I didn't ask you to do that. All right. Okay. Please, sir, I can't have a DUI. Please. Right. I'll do everything. I will take everything off. Please don't charge me, but I want to go to jail. Please, sir. I don't, I don't want you to take everything off. Criminals stopped by police often use violent methods to evade accountability. But what happens when DUI suspects turn to seduction? Welcome to Audit Oblivion. In this video, we explore real cases where individuals caught driving under the influence tried to flirt their way out of trouble. Our first case involves Anthony Hare, a former San Diego police officer who resigned under controversial circumstances. On the 14th of August, 2023, Officer Hare and his colleagues arrested two individuals suspected of car theft. One of the arrestees, a woman with a bench warrant, was placed in Hare's patrol car for transport to the Las Colinas Women's Detention Center. Roll over first, yeah. Roll over. Okay, we're just gonna go to my car right here, okay? You're gonna come with me to my car? So let's go. Oh, oh, he said you heard him when he said it. Let's go. How about asking me? Yeah, this way. Uh, not even on no. He said he was going to ask me. Also, why are you the only mean one? I'm not mean. Bro, you're the I'm only big brain. No, we can Honestly, talk more once we get into the car, okay? okay. I got your... Sorry I got, for calling that, but... I got your... Duff, not your duffel bag, with the doffing bag. Yeah. I got all of that. Uh, your makeup. Why are you the only one? Mm -hmm. Not really. Okay. Yeah, you're doing your job. I understand. You're doing your job. But, but... But... You can't hate it like that. I just want... Go, step inside. Go. I'm gonna unplug the screen inside. Perfect. Just a little bit more. That's, I don't want to pinch your skin. Alright. During the transport, the woman began making flirtatious and explicit comments to Hare, which were initially captured by his body camera. Asking that. Oh, what do you mean? I'm cool to you. Hare drives the woman to San Diego Police Department headquarters. The conversation starts up with gentle flirting, but soon after, goes to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not. When the woman makes an explicit proposition, Hare can be heard saying, you can't say that right now, because everything is recorded. Say that right now. No, I said don't say that right now because uh, everything's being recorded right now. Only a few blocks from Las Colinas, Hare asked the woman what she was doing in the back seat. Hare turned off his body camera and stopped in a secluded area. Ten minutes later, Hare called for help, claiming he was locked in the back seat. An hour passes before a supervisor arrives to rescue Hare. Hey, 
her step out of the vehicle for me. One fourteen yellow. We're code four. Everything just went wrong. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me turn my camera off. She's code four. She's code four. Okay, okay. Hey, yeah, let me turn this off real quick. Hare can be heard saying everything just went wrong before the supervisor switches off his camera. An investigation revealed procedural violations, false statements, and semen residue on Hare's belt and trousers, leading to his resignation just before the findings were released. A glaring legal loophole allows officers to resign before facing internal investigations, enabling them to be rehired by other departments. This evasion of accountability perpetuates a culture of bias and corruption within law enforcement. I was just dropping, picking up my friend from Northport. Okay. Where are you headed to? Uh, I was just, uh, well, she lives in Northport. I was just trying to be, uh, um, Thank you. You got your registration card, Jennifer Clark? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get Okay. I'm so sorry, sir. Your fake cut had scared me when I walked up and forgot tomorrow's Halloween. Pardon? I said your fake cut had scared me when I walked up and oh. forgot tomorrow's <laughs> Halloween. I'm like, oh boy. I know, right? So, reason I got to stop, few things. When you're sitting at the light back here to make the left, yeah. you're all the way out in the intersection. Oh, okay. Like, you were past the crosswalk, but you were you were on Toledo Blade for making the left. Okay. Um, that, the tags on the car, is the car registered to you? Yes, sir. Okay, the tags on the car expired back in March. Yes, sir. Or April, I'm sorry. Um, and your license is suspended. Yes, sir. Did you know your license was suspended? I apologize about that. Okay. Um, do you have insurance on the car? Yes, I do. In our next video, we explore the story of an international student pulled over for a traffic violation and a suspended license. Initially, the encounter unfolds like any routine traffic stop. However, when the student realizes her green card may be at risk, she resorts to extreme measures. Desperation takes over as she proposes to the officers that she will do anything to avoid legal trouble, including taking off her clothes. It's just in I got you. Give me a favor, put your hands on your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. You're under arrest for DUI. Okay? Yeah. DUI. But I'm not drunk. Okay, I'll explain it all to you, mate. Just look back forward. I'm going to take your watch off. Okay? But I did everything okay. that you asked okay. me to, right? You did everything that I asked you to, but all those exercises you performed, yeah. I look for indicators of impairment, okay? And tonight, you have exhibited enough indicators of impairment to believe you are not safe to operate the motor vehicle, okay? So. Please, sir, I can't have a DUI, please. Okay. I'll do everything, I literally, I promise. Sir, I'm from Switzerland, I can't have a DUI, please. It's, I don't want to get out of I don't, I don't want to get kicked out of Wait until I'll find out the white female tap the chance anymore. I understand. I won't do that control, please, sir. But you... I will, I literally stop you're not even, you're not, even, you're not even supposed to be driving in the first place. You have five different suspensions on your license. Please, sir, that's, okay. it's going to ruin my whole life. That, that does, a DUI does not mean that you're going to up and be deported. Yes, because I'm from Switzerland. I don't, I'm on a green card. I'm not... Wait, turn off. Please start next time. Send me your location, please. I'm, do, I'm on a green card. I'm not on a... So. Please, sir. I promise I'll have myself pick me up. You can take my car. Okay. Please, it's, sir. It's out of my hands tonight. Okay? So let's go ahead and walk back in. But you're the one arresting me, right? Yes, I am the one arresting you, but the decision to make the arrest is already out of my hands tonight. So let's walk back in. Why? Because everything we've done tonight is on video. Everything. When the female asks why they cannot cut her some slack, the officers respond because it is all on camera. So does this mean if there was no recording, they would have broken the law? Isn't it strange that moral and legal standards are being upheld by camera footage? With that being said, this is a perfect time for us to ask you to like the video. A simple click makes a huge difference to our channel. Please, sir. It's, it's going to ruin my you. life, Korea. Please, sir. Do you do you have a pair of a shorts or something in here that we can put on oh, to please. cover you up a little bit? Jersey. I'll put that on her. Please, sir. Please. I'll take everything off, please don't charge me, but I don't want to go to jail, please, sir. I don't, I don't want you to take everything off. Please, sir, not tonight, please. I, 
I'm gonna. Sh- I at promise a, at I'll a, have somebody pick me up and drive me home. I promise. I'm, I'm gonna show you a little bit of decency and cover you up a little bit. You don't. We don't you don't want to go into jail looking like that. Please. No, please, Come sir. On. Let's walk back over. No, sir, this way. Please. This way. Ma'am, there's nothing we can do. Okay. No. Come on, please. No. Don't don't make hey, this any. Hey, don't it, by not by not going, you're just gonna make it worse. Because the pulling away and everything is another charge. Okay. So. Let's, Sir, let's just be an adult I and take your I promise I do everything. I cannot. Because okay. the Come thing on. is, if I'm from I'm, Switzerland, listen, I can't I'm, have a DUI. I promise you, you. I'm going to ask you one more time to walk to my car, and then I'm going to I'm going to make you go to my car. Okay? So please, let's just be an adult about this and go to my car. But the thing is, if, if I'm from Switzerland, please I can't go have to a my DUI. Car. Please. Okay. Please. That does not change the charge. I, there's, I, there's nothing I can change it to. Like we said, you're being charged with it. You, you're not convicted of anything. Okay, we don't convict people. You can get an attorney, you can go through court, you can do everything that you need to do to still stay here, okay? This isn't the end of this. Okay, I promise you that. Have what? you ever been in trouble before? Yes. For what? <clears throat> well, I've been uh, in a bad situation where, um, I've been in a car where, like, there was apparently cocaine uh, okay. like, found, but I wasn't, like, I was just in the car, I didn't know about it. Okay. But so, I your, got car's, out of it. your car's going to be searched. Is there cocaine in the car tonight? No, sir. Okay. Perfect. I did not have anything okay. in it. I, I was in charge of it. Okay. I was, got away you were just with there. It. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. So I didn't get charged with anything. So you kind of know how the system works. Just because you get in trouble tonight doesn't mean that this is going to still be you in trouble in a week or two weeks or three weeks, right? Based on her performance on the field sobriety exercises and the totality of the circumstances, there was probable cause that Furrer violated the following laws. Florida Statute 316.193 1. A. Driving under the influence, DUI Florida Statute 322.34 2. A. Driving while license suspended with knowledge Fur knowingly operated a vehicle while her license was suspended and under the influence of alcohol, impairing her normal faculties. Furrer was placed under arrest and secured in the back of the patrol vehicle A probable cause search of her vehicle revealed two small open containers of fireball whiskey and an empty white claw hard seltzer can in the passenger compartment. All right, step out. Are you coming in? Yeah. All right, stay right there. Turn around. You want to walk over to that? I'm going to hold on to you so you don't fall, okay? I'm, I'm very worried about it. No, you're not. You're very, not very, very concerned about your safety, Alexis. Not worried about my name right there in front of In the early morning hours of December 24th, 2022, Santa Rosa County Sheriff's deputies observed a vehicle driving erratically on Caroline Street in Milton, Florida. The deputies activated their lights, and the vehicle came to a stop in front of Zaxby's restaurant. The driver, identified as 24-year-old Alexis Porter, was questioned about her alcohol consumption. She initially stated she had not been drinking much and was coming from a friend's house. How much have you had to drink tonight? Not a lot. Not a lot? All right. You have a license on you? Yeah. Porter appeared incoherent and seemed unaware of her location. When asked for her insurance, she mistakenly provided her vehicle registration. She exhibited slurred speech, watery eyes, and a lack of coordination. Deputies over at the sheriff's office. All right, the reason you're getting stopped is you're all over the road. You got a call about you about reckless driving. All right, what's going on tonight? Sorry, I, I gotta get home. All right, where are you coming from? My friend's house. Your friend's house. Where's your friend live at? On uh, Vicky Street. Vicky Street. Yeah. All right. All right. You know where you you live at? Yeah, I live off of. Uh, I live off of Stewart Street. Stewart Street? Do you know, do you know where you're at right now? Yeah, I know I'm at Jackson. Do you know what street you're on? Yeah. What street? Stewart Street. You're not on Stewart Street. All right, get your license for me. Mm-hmm. How old are you? Uh, like 24. Okay. You said your friend lives where? I live on I didn't street. say, I didn't, where does your friend live? That, 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 where are you coming from? Off of... I live 
Let's do a street. Okay. Where Where are you coming from? I'm coming from my friend, and that's on. Hey, give me your license, please. Yes. yes. All right. Do you have insurance on the vehicle? Yes. Alright. What is this? That is my license. That's my registration. Okay. What I asked for. It's my. This is my. You can tell her that you're. You're not going to deal with something else right now. I can't deal with someone else right now because I'm fucking pulled over. Okay, well, friend, you're saying that, but, like, you left my house and, like, left me with a bunch of responsibility. Yep. It's crazy that you're thinking you have nobody else to do you want to work. When instructed to exit the vehicle, the deputy noticed Porter was not wearing pants. Porter was asked to perform standardized field sobriety exercises, including the horizontal gaze nystagmus, walk and turn test, and one leg stand test. She was unable to complete any of the tests satisfactorily. What, the, the, what she got panties on right there? Yeah, she lifted it up and exposed herself to me. But I'm not gonna what? charge her with that. But okay. When you start the test, do not stop. All right, it's gonna be a continuing motion all the way down, do a series of small turns, and all the way back. Do you understand that? Yeah, they understand. All right. Cool all right. Look. You may begin. No? Just like I instructed. Please take listen, me home. I'm, no. Just take me home. All right, listen. I'm not done. I didn't do it anymore. Did, um, and what is your mom's number? My mom's up. Can I just get my phone? Ma'am, listen to me. What I is, don't have my number if I can't call her. What, it, you don't, what is her number? You just gave it to me. While secured in the police car, Porter managed to slip out of her handcuffs. She became belligerent towards the deputies as they attempted to contact someone to retrieve her vehicle. Due to her uncooperative behavior, the deputies decided to tow the vehicle instead. After retrieving her belongings, Porter was transported to the Santa Rosa County Jail for further processing. You just slip your cuffs? Can I get yeah. my All right. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. You're about to catch another charge. You understand? If she slipped her cuffs. Step out. You're pushing my nerves. Step out. Step out. I'm stepping out. Turn around. Yeah, turn around. What did I do? You slipped your cuffs. That's what you did. You know what escape is? No, did I wait? Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay wait. So, alright, all right, good to go. Don't worry. I'm gonna tow your vehicle now. No, I was gonna give you an option no, to call, no, but stop, you wanna, please. you wanna, you gonna. No, I don't want to. Turn around. No, I didn't. Turn around. Turn around. No, stop. No, stop. No, stop, please. On the way to the Santa Rosa County Jail, Alexis Porter began crying for her babies, attempting to play the victim. She claimed that the officer thought she was a bad person. However, her actions could have resulted in a serious tragedy. This late attempt at garnering sympathy did little to mitigate the seriousness of her offenses and the potential danger that she posed to herself and others on the road. Again, I don't think you're a bad person, but... No, you do. No, I don't. No, you do. You do. I... You do. My baby's at home. My baby's at home. My baby's right. like a breastfed baby. My friends. My f I'm going to jail right now. My baby's a breastfed mother In the early hours of February 10th, 2023, Tampa police stopped Melissa Seals, a 21-year-old Instagram model, for driving erratically. Okay. You know why I'm stopping you? No, no idea. No idea? No. Okay, you ran a red light back there oh, at I, uh, I, Howard I, and Kennedy. I'm sorry. What's that? Okay. 
Okay, do you have your uh, registration with you? How much have you had to drink tonight? I haven't drank anything. Okay, what about marijuana use? You smoked marijuana recently? No, 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 no. Okay, so you got marijuana shake all over yeah, your pants. I, I... Seals exhibited clear signs of impairment, including slurred speech, watery eyes, and a lack of coordination. Despite her attempts to charm the officers, she failed the field sobriety tests and was arrested. Officers found marijuana and other drugs in her vehicle during the search. Try to keep your head still. Try to keep your head still. Steps, counting your steps out loud as you walk down this line, okay? One. What I want you to start yet, okay? Two. I don't want you to start yet. Oh, okay. When I tell you to. So go ahead and put your left foot on the line. Yep. Right foot in front of your left foot so it touches heel to toe. Arms down to your side. Great. Now I'll tell you I'll tell you when to start, okay? Okay. But I have to first show you how to do it. You can begin when you're ready. Alright. Oh, okay, let me start again. Honestly, my legs are really sore, so this is actually Okay. Much, do the best you can. One, two, three, four, five. If you understand how to do it, then you can begin when you're ready. Alright. Make sure you're counting out loud. Oh, like 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Seals claims she does not have a lot of balance. She has a lot of core strength. I don't have a lot of balance. I don't have a lot of core strength. <laughs> okay. Just continue. 1,001, Okay, you can put your foot down. All right. Next, we're going to face this way. Again, we'll put your feet together like this, arms straight down to your side, just like that. Okay. Put both your arms back together like they're praying, just like this, okay? Okay. So hold them together. Don't interlace your fingers quite yet. Just hold them like that where you're praying, okay? Okay, and and understand if, if you haven't been drinking, the medicines that you've taken are certainly impairing you. Dude. So. I was never told I couldn't drive on the medications. It, it probably says them right on the bottle. No, it does not. I promise. I'll show you my bottle right now. Okay. Is it I in the car? The yes, it okay. is in the car. I'll okay. show you right now. Come, come on up here. Come on up here. Okay. This is just six, so seven, two, one, two, two. Do you have, let me ask you a very important question. Do you have anything illegal on you or in your pockets? Right no, 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 no. Okay, because there was marijuana shake on you. Is there any marijuana hidden on you anywhere? No. Sure. Do you have a female for a search? If, if there's a female coming, okay? If they search you and miss something in their search and they find it when they get at the jail, it's an additional felony charge, okay? Right now you're only looking at a misdemeanor charge, okay? So you have to tell everybody, okay? Come on here and well, I'm gonna have you have a seat. I'm gonna take your phone out of your pocket, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna have you have a seat in my car, okay? okay. So like I said, we're, we, we are gonna go down to the jail, okay? And I'm gonna ask you to do a breath test when we get there, okay? Are you willing to do that? What are my rights? Well, you don't have to take the breath test, okay? You can refuse it. There's no penalty for refusing it. I don't think there is. I gotta look at your driving. Have you ever been arrested before? Okay. Yeah. So if that's true, that's true, then there's there's um, no additional charge for refusing the breath test, okay? However, what it changes is it changes the um, length of suspension that goes on your license, okay? It turns out if you refuse it, it's a one-year suspension on your license, okay? Does that answer your question? Officers found marijuana paraphernalia in her vehicle during the search. A bunch of, like, looks like a, just little butts left of marijuana joints. Spice grinder, spice grinder with residue. What would you like to do about taking the breath test? 
Well, you can't talk to anybody about that right now. You have to make a decision whether or not you want to do the breath test first, okay? You will have an opportunity to make phone calls. Um, and really, honestly, if you if you feel that you've, your rights have been violated, yeah, I, there's no okay. There's no there's no rush. There's no rush to talk to anybody right this second. It's not going to change anything. Okay. Um, I have no reason to lie to you. So um, we search your car incident to a, to an arrest, and that's what happens in the state of Florida. I know you may disagree with me, and that's okay. You you are welcome to find that answer on your own. There's no harm in that. Okay. But I do need to know, as part of the law, when you're arrested for DUI, you are required to submit to a, a breath test and or a urine test, okay? So the first por portion of this is I'm going to ask you to do a breath test. Are you willing to do that? So do you want to take the breath test, yes or no? Look, I need to make a call. I can't make an answer without making a call. So let me let me read this next portion to you. So so let me talk let me let me talk to that point a little bit, okay? A portion of this paragraph probably not gonna apply to you, but some of it does, okay? So your right to remain silent has nothing to do with taking the approved chemical tests for the purpose of determining the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You've already agreed to it, right? Yeah, so no one's doing that when I'm going to my license. So it's, I, you, sign, you sign the paperwork. Yeah, like no one told me that, though. It's on the paperwork. I, Liz, I, I don't work there. I have nothing to do with that, you know? Yeah, but, but I do need to know if you're going to take that test or not. Know my rights and why I, my car should not have been searched. I yeah. Feel like I okay. Understand that. I'm, I don't get upset about it. That is completely your choice that 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 you have to make. There's. Just going right here for me. Oh, hold on. Okay, we're gonna go right to that door right there on the wall. I gotta hold you through the parking lot. Okay. Once you get inside, I can it's walk, the, no, walk no, on your own. go up just to the right side of the door. Gotcha. That's good right there. <laughs> yes. Come on up. She refused to take a breathalyzer test. Seals was booked at the Hillsborough County Jail and released on a $500 cash bond later that day. Thank you for joining us as we explored these intense police encounters and the length some individuals go to avoid accountability. These stories underscore the importance of integrity and vigilance in law enforcement. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to Audit Oblivion for more compelling content.